My name is Phyllis Ideal, and I'm proud to be showing in the Roswell Museum and Art Center. Uh, this is my latest body of work, and it's called Gestures and Geometry. I'm a native of New Mexico, born and raised in Roswell. I spent 40 years in New York. My work is a combination between early impressions of New Mexico and also the urban sensibility of New York City. I wanted to do a bunch of COVID paintings done during this period of time and that they ended up being more somber because we were living in with a lot of worry and uh, constriction. And I also wanted the paintings to be beautiful just because I'm a painter. Uh, but the subject was, what am I doing during this period? And I like the title of Hold That Line. I think that all the lines within the paintings are sort of the lines within our lives. The boundaries and the shapes sort of make up a whole, and the whole is pretty somber. We're holding a line, all of us. We're in a pandemic. It's our reality. We're living behind a boundary that we didn't have before. My studio is um, a place where a lot of experimentation takes place. And I often am working on four or five paintings at once, moving collage parts around, over painting, painting out, painting back in, adding collage pieces, adding spray paint, standing back, saying the whole thing doesn't work, and painting it out again. So it's very, uh, it's an open-ended experiment, even though they may in the final examination not look too experimented with. It's the same shape reinterpreted through color. And I think of the grid as a painting, uh, one painting, as opposed to many small paintings. And I also feel it, it's like a conceptual statement about making a painting because the details in between are active and they're moving and they hopefully circulate your eye throughout the whole. In the gestural prints, I started doing on my iPhone with an app called Zen Brush. And I started doing it because I hate standing in line. And so I was always standing in line in New York or waiting or on the subway or someplace. And I found this app and started doing these abstract paintings. And I actually started enjoying standing in lines. <laughs> And I, I kind of learned how to master doing this through lots of different steps, which was erasing and going back, and it was very similar to the way I paint. My collages often were spray painted, so I'd lay them on the floor and spray paint them. So the floor is just this moving gray background with these colored shapes floating around in no particular order, just wherever I threw it down and sprayed it. In many cases, I look at it, I, I measured off a square and I thought that's a really good painting. I moved to San Francisco in 67. I stayed till 1982 and then I moved to New York City. And I've been in New York pretty much ever since. But I've always come back to New Mexico and I've always been impressed by Mexican retablos, icons, Indian rugs, the original Neo Geo people, and the landscape. So it is deeply embedded. I was pretty much raised by my grandmother who was a painter and she took me under wing. And my grandmother was a very good painter and she showed in the women's center and places. And um, she was 100% behind me. And I worked with her alongside of her in her studio from the time that I was five. She set up little pallets for me. 
And I must say, I wish you were here to see me showing here. She would be proud. <laughs> this fly is gonna steal the show. <laughs>